2 Corinthians 5 19 says that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself not counting their uh, trespasses or sin against them um, every accusation was nailed to the cross including every accusation against you so you're listening to accusations that Jesus has already dealt with um, and, and God wants you to free you from that so you can live in the joy and peace and rest of just being loved unconditionally because it is unconditional you can't stop God loving you and you can't make God love you anymore he loves you as much as he's going to and that is perfectly so some things that you were talking about you know just because you have an opinion or you might have said something God is looking at the inside of your heart and he's not looking at the things you say in that way so tithing you're not under the obligation to tithe it's an old covenant uh, thing for the Jewish people the Gentiles were never under uh, any obligation to tithe and we're now in the new covenant not under any law so tithing does not apply you don't need to tithe you just give whatever God wants you to give wherever God wants you to give it it's quite simple quite liberating quite free you're not under an obligation or a bondage to do something that someone else wants God sa says in in Corinthians Paul 2 Corinthians 9 says God loves a cheerful giver not giving under compulsion a tithe as presented often by churches is a compulsion a law you're not under so don't worry about that when it comes to souls of animals well in reality it's it's not an issue whether what you believe um i i do believe animals do have souls they don't have a spirit but they do have a soul they do have personality and i do believe that that soul will probably live on after death because god didn't bring animals into this world and then that is all going to be destroyed so i do think there is a, a life for animals uh, in the spiritual realm and i've seen animals in the spiritual realm so don't be concerned about things you said you know none of the things you said is going to overrule what god has already said and he's already said you are forgiven you are born from above you are reconciled you are loved unconditionally nothing can separate you from the love of god that is the truth and it says nothing that is done will be done or anything you can do can separate you from the love of god romans uh, chapter eight so don't be concerned don't come under bondage perfect love casts out fear so fear cannot come from god so this verse about blaspheme in the holy spirit is not designed to bring people into fear it was designed to bring people into a reality and a freedom from the course they were following now first of all this passage is not speaking to you look at the beginning of luke 12 1 it says he began saying to his disciples first of all beware of the leaven of the of the pharisees which is hypocrisy so this is the context of this whole thing was hypocrisy and they were talking about following god and yet jesus said they were leading people into a pit because they were blind and they were leading people blindly into destruction now what he was trying to get over here is and this is the context of this is the old covenant which is where the leaven of the pharisees was operating and jesus was trying to get them to see that the old covenant was never going to be uh, able to bring them into life in god because it was dead works um, they were trying in their own understanding and their own works to be a appease god it was never going to happen god didn't want sacrifices and offerings in that way that's why jesus came to bring us into a new relationship with the father through him so what this is really saying and the, the word blaspheme here properly if you read in strong's concordance says to refuse to acknowledge good worthy of respect veneration hence to blaspheme which reverses moral values so in other words what it's really saying is jesus came with a message that's saying follow me follow me out of this old covenant religion which doesn't work into a new covenant relationship which does work if you effectively if you reject the leading of the spirit to come to jesus and follow him you're going to end up stuck in the old covenant in which you'll be stuck doing things in your own strength which doesn't work so literally it doesn't mean that god hasn't forgiven us because it very clearly says that god's already forgiven us love keeps no record of wrongs it says in 1 corinthians 13 so there are no record that God keeps of anything you've said or done in a negative way. 
and ev- you've already been forgiven of everything that will ever be needing to be forgiven and it's already done all you have to do is ex- accept that it's already done and experience it of course if you reject the reality of what god has already done as many people do in the world today then they don't live feeling forgiven it doesn't mean that they're not forgiven by god it just means they don't live in the reality of that and therefore they're living under guilt shame and condemnation still so i believe that you are sort of been tricked or deceived into living under condemnation because I, I guess you might have been taught or whoever began to disciple you may have brought you into a religious concept of where you have to be obedient. You have to do these things for God. Your behavior has to match up to this standard. God is not looking at your behavior. He's looking at who you are as his child and he loves you. He's accepted you. He approves of you. And of course, he's wanting to renew your mind. So you come into the truth and know the truth. So you're going through a little bit of a deconstruction where all the things that you've been taught and all the things that you understand about God and the nature of judgment. God's judgment on you right now is you are innocent. You are justified just as if you'd never, ever been in lost identity. So all of that stuff that you're thinking, oh, I said this that's fear fear never comes from god let perfect love cast out fear and even now i will just encourage you to close your eyes just close your eyes and just begin to think about god think about love and let love fill you overflow you the unconditional love of god let it free you from any wrong mindset belief system any fear of judgment fear of blasphemy all those things because they're just fear-based and they're not coming from God. So just allow him to remove those from you. Let him show you the reality of you've been forgiven, you are forgiven, you are reconciled. Just let those feelings, those emotions, let love fill you, let it flow into you, let it free you and cast out all fear from your mind and bring you into that place of love, joy, peace, of rest. Just rest in him. Allow him to bring the reality of his love for you. And just anything that produces fear in your mind, take captive the thought and reject it. And focus back on the good things, the the pure things, the things that are above, where you are seated with Christ in heavenly places. And God loves you unconditionally and let nothing, 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 nothing can separate you from the love of God. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.